Hi everyone. From this series onwards, we are going to start up discussing about the immunology multiple choice questions in different series. Each series is going to possess a 20 questions. Okay. In the first series, we are going to have the question number 1 to 20. So let's begin. First question. Naturally acquired active immunity would be most likely acquired through which of the following processes? Options are A. Vaccination B. Drinking cholesterol C. Natural birth D. Infection with disease causing organism followed by recovery And the answer is Infection with disease causing organism followed by recovery The naturally acquired active immunity is the second type and from mother to baby is going to be the passive type and here if you are directly being exposed to the infection then it is going naturally then it is going to be called as naturally acquired active immunity the best example is going to be the exposure to smallpox and some sort of uh, flus okay then moving to the second question which of the following does not protect body surfaces options are a skin b mucus c gastric acid D. Salivary amylase. It's not going to protect the body surfaces. So, D is going to be the answer for this one. Salivary amylase. Then, moving to the third, the most abundant antibody found in serum is the most abundant antibody that is immunoglobulin. Options are A, IgA1, IgG1, IgG2, IgG3. And the option obviously is IgA which is the one which is present in all types of secretions and this is going to be the most abundant antibody. Then fourth one, which of the following substances will not stimulate an immune response unless they are bound to a large molecule? The options are A. Antigen B. Virus C. Hapten D. Antibody and the answer obviously is the hapten which is an incomplete so it will be an antigen only when it is going to bind to a large molecule then fifth one b cells produce and release large amount of antibody are called options are a memory cells b basophils c plasma cells d killer cells and the answer is plasma cells and these plasma cells only will differentiate into memory cells and the anti bodies sixth one in blood transfusion it is essential that options are a blood of homologous group should always be same b direct matching between patient serum and donors corpuscles be performed c both a and b d none of this and the answer is both a and b seventh one clonal selection occurs when antigen is encountered by Options are A. Neutrophilus B. Mast cells C. T cells D. Basophils And the answer is T cells. Clone selection occurs when an antigen is encountered by T cells. Eighth one. Plasma cells. Plasma cells are whether they are derived from T cells B. Developed into B cells C. Secrete large amounts of gamma interferon D. Have a highly developed rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, plasma cells are not going to be derived from T cells. That is wrong. Then, plasma cells are not going to develop into B cells. From the B cells, they are going to be developed. So, it is also wrong. They are not going to secrete any large amounts of gamma interferons. So, obviously, the answer will be having a highly developed rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then, ninth one. Specific antibodies are readily detectable in serum following primary contact with antigen after options are A. 10 minutes, B. 1 hour, C. 5 to 7 days, D. 3 to 5 weeks. Specific antibodies are readily detectable in serum following a primary contact with the antigen after how much time they are asking. So after 5 to 7 days. Tenth, what is the similarity between immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G that is IgM and IgG options are A complement fixation B placental transport 
C. Heat stability at 56 degrees centigrade. D. Sedimentation corruption. So, placental transport is only IgG. Heat stability is also having only IgM. Sedimentation corruption is also different because one is the largest one. So, obviously, what will be the answer? A. The complement fixation is the similarity between IgM and IgG. 11th one. A plasma cell secretes. Options are antibody of a single specificity related to that on the surface of the parent B cell. B. Antibody of two antigen specificities. C. The antigen it recognizes. D. Many different types of antibodies. The answer is antibody of a single specificity related to that on the surface of the parent B cell. Next, 12th question. Immunological unresponsiveness to self antigens is called. Options are A. Tolerance, B. Tolerogen, C. Memory, D. Acquired immunity. And the answer is tolerance. 13th question. The agglutinin test is used for. The agglutinin test is used for. The options are identification of isolated bacteria. B. Typing of bacterial species. C. Study of antigenic structure of bacteria. All of this. The answer is all of this. 14th question. Which of the following are inactive viral vaccines? Which of the following are inactive viral vaccines? Options are A. Influenza. B. Rabies. C. Russian. Spring summer encephalitis. D. All of the above. The answer is all of the above. That means influenza vaccine, rabies vaccine, Russian spring summer encephalitis vaccine, all are inactive viral vaccines. 15. Cell mediated immunity can be identified by options are A. Skin test for delayed hypersensitivity, B. Sheep red blood corpuscles rosette formation, C. Microphase inhibiting factor, D. All of the above. The answer is all of the above. By all the tests, we can identify the cell mediated immunity. 16. The earliest immunoglobulin to be synthesized by the fetus is. The earliest immunoglobulin to be synthesized by the fetus is. Options are IgM, IgG, IgE, IgA. The answer is IgM. 7. C reactive protein is. Options are A. An antibody because of pneumococcal infection. B. Derived from pneumococci. C. Detected by precipitation reaction. D. Increased in pneumococcal. The option is C. Reactive protein is detected by precipitation reaction. Option C is the right answer. 18. Patients suffering from AIDS have following immuno or immune abnormalities. Patients suffering from AIDS have following immune abnormalities. Options are A. Decreased cluster differentiation for T cells that is simply called as CD4. CD means cluster differentiation. Increased CD8 plus T cells. C. Hyper gamma globulinemia. D. CD4 or CD8 ratio is going to be greater than that means CD4 is to CD8 ratio is going to be greater than 21. E both B and D. The answer is both B and D. That means the patients suffering from AIDS is going to have increased CD8 T cells as well as they are going to have the ratio of the CD4 CD8 ratio greater than 21. 19. VDRL is a the full form of VDRL is venereal disease research laboratory, which is a test used to identify syphilis disease caused by Triponema pallidum. They are asking VDRL is a dash. A slight flocculation test B. Tube flocculation test C. Gel precipitation D. Indirect hemagglutination Obviously the answer will be a slight flocculation test which is one of the type of precipitation reaction. 20. Which of the following immunoglobulins can cross placenta? Options are A. IgA B. IgM, C. IgG, D. IgD. So, the option will be IgG. Here, just remember 
the placenta is going to be related to the gynecol or gynec so obviously the immunoglobulin that is passing from the mother to the fetus is going to be the igg immunoglobulin through the placenta if it is a milk that is a colostrum feeding mother then it will be iga okay and the fast developed immunoglobulin by the fetus is going to be the igm so this is how you can compare and you can read the immunoglobulins which you definitely will get one question from this types of immunoglobulins so this is all about the first series in the second series we will start with the question number 21 up to 40 thank you